What is up tech gang, Stefan here from TechRite. Today I'm gonna to be showing you some tips and tricks on the new Huawei Mate SE. Stay tuned. All right guys, so the first trick I want to show you is actually a screenshot. So uh, a ton of you know how to screenshot. Obviously it's volume down and power button, or you can drag down and go right here and press the screenshot button to go ahead and take a screenshot just like that. But there's actually another option that I want to show you guys. Uh, it's really cool and it I, I find it very useful um, on an everyday basis when I want to screenshot an article and send it to a friend or whatever. So what I'm gonna show you is these screenshot scroll it's the scroll shot I guess so basically you are on a news article and you want to send it to a friend or just save it in general all you have to do is go right here press the screenshot once it's screenshot a little thing right here is gonna pop up it's going to say scroll shot as you guys see right there you're going to press on scroll shot and it's gonna scroll down the whole page as you see up there and it's going to take a screenshot for you guys now as you guys see it took a scroll shot for you and it stitched it all together so this is all one huge screenshot so i thought that was really cool so i just added it to this list next thing i want to show you is you can actually edit the drop down menu if you guys have seen the drop down menu before you know obviously you can drop it down right here you have some things that you can do uh, but there's actually an edit you can actually uh, put multiple things on here there's a hot spot ultra battery saver floating dock uh, what, what I like to do is actually just add all of them here. So you can add every single ability to your drop down bar so you can have them all there. Or you can take some off and you can be a minimalist and only have the things that you need on there. But I really like having all of them up there uh, and open to me. Next thing I want to show you is actually the home screen style. So where we're going to go is the settings. We're going to click on home screen style and there are two different ones uh, that you can choose from. There's the standard one. It shows all apps on home screen and there's a drawer one that shows all apps on drawer screen. So basically I like the drawer app better. Some people like the standard so you can basically uh, fix it to what your preference is. Next one is in settings. So all you have to do is go to navigation and you are going to get a navigation style. Now, a ton of people do not like having their uh, back button on the left side or vice versa so basically you can go ahead and change it right here change it around preferably I like this but you can also choose from these two other ones uh, this other one actually has a function to where all the way to the right of the back button you can click on this and the drop down menu goes down so I thought that was a very useful uh, option if you have very small hands next thing is actually gonna be in the fingerprint ID so we're going to go into fingerprint ID and one of the uh, most awesome things that I've ever found out about a fingerprint sensor is actually you can slide down your notification panel so you have all these different options you can do with your fingerprint sensor such as take a photo answer a call stop alarm uh, show notification browse photos but I thought this was really really neat so basically what I did is if you turn this on all you have to do slide your finger down right here like that and the drop down menu comes up and slide it up and it goes up but I thought that was really really cool the next one is actually a floating dock so basically all you have to do is slide down your notification menu and you have to click on the floating dock right there uh, this is similar to iOS this is something that we've seen on iOS before that's why when people ask me about this phone I really call it the poor man's iPhone because it's basically the same thing but it's running um, MUI and it's running Android so basically what you have to do is click on this and once you click on that you can use it for back home and recents you can also lock your phone like that um, and you can also go over here and clear certain things clear up space on your phone so I thought that was really cool so if you scroll all the way down to security and privacy and click on that you're going to see under security where it says blocked all you have to do is click on that um, you can go right here to the settings little icon right there and if you click on that you can actually add people to a blacklist now what this blacklist is is it blocks calls and messages from blacklist numbers um, 
um, that you don't want clawing you. Also, you can block keywords and you can have a whitelist as well. There are other interception rules that you can click on right here. Uh, you can have call block rules, block unknown slash hidden numbers, block all strangers, block all incoming calls, block all strangers uh, with messages. So there is just a ton of different options on this Huawei phone and I thought that was a really, really cool tip. The next one's actually going to be in the security and privacy as well. So inside of the security, we're going to look under virus scanner and we actually have a virus scanner built inside of the phone. I thought that was really, really cool. So, so if you guys are ever scared that you have got a virus on your phone, this is going to help you out and it is a powered by Avast. Next one's going to be under privacy. Now I really, really do like this one and I know a ton of you are going to love this tip as well. This one's actually called a file safe so we're gonna go ahead and click on this now it says encrypt photos audio videos and other files to protect your privacy basically what encrypt means if you don't know what that word means is you can hide all of these files from people uh, viewing them so if your friend or your wife or your girlfriend or somebody uh, in your family tries to get in your phone and tries to look at all your photos maybe you have some stuff that you don't want people looking at then you can actually encrypt it and hide inside of here now all you're gonna have to do is actually press enable you're going to press internal storage you're going to create a password uh, remember that the password has to consist of 6 to 16 letters or numbers and include at least one letter so you're gonna have to at least include one letter so our password is gonna be one two three four five six Q and then we're gonna have one two three four five six Q you guys can put any password you want but just for the sake of this video I'm going to put a random one then you're going to press done you are going to have a choice to pick security questions what is your father's name we're just gonna put dad and what is your mother's name uh, we're just going to put we're just gonna put mom and then we're gonna click done also, it asks you safe enabled associate fingerprint to quickly access. Uh, if you want to, you can go ahead and do that, but it is harder for someone to get in there. Uh, uh, but associate if you would like to, and now your fingerprint is associated with this. But you can also go to images and you can add images you don't want people seeing. So let's add these just for the sake of the video. Boom, boom, boom. Select all actually and just add them. So we added all these photos to here. Now press OK. Now if we go ahead and take a look at the gallery, you're going to see that we don't have these photos in the gallery anymore. So we're going to take a look, see we do not have uh, those photos anymore. So what we're going to do is go back and to view those photos, you're going to actually use your fingerprint. Boom. And we are verified and we are in our encrypted photos, audio, videos, and files. So if you guys ever want to hide any of that stuff from your siblings, wife, uh, husband, where, whatever you want to do, uh, you guys can use this for your personal use. The next one is actually an application lock. So all you have to do is press on here. Uh, you can basically use your fingerprint or you can set it up like it did before um, with the file safe. So once we're going to go ahead and use our fingerprint sensor and you can uh you can lock any apps that you want so let's go ahead and go right here uh, we're gonna go ahead and lock the gallery app and let's go ahead and uh, lock the netflix app so what we're gonna do is go to the gallery or we'll go to netflix we'll try this out on netflix see it says access app lock with your fingerprint lightly press against the sensor to verify your fingerprint so boom and now we are in Scrolling all the way down to battery, uh, if you guys really need a power saving mode, there are multiple power saving modes. There's the main power saving mode right there. There is an ultra power saving mode as well. Uh, if you scroll down in here, we have a low resolution power saving mode as well. So if you want to use any of these power saving modes, you guys can go ahead and do so. Um, but the battery on this phone has actually been pretty decent so far. So if you ever want to put that on, then you can go ahead and turn that on. Last and final thing I wanted to show you is if you ever went to your settings inside of a Wawa phone inside of a Huawei phone that had the setting you guys might have you know been like what is app twin so app twin basically it says when enabled you can log into two different accounts for the same app at the same time twin apps cannot interact with original apps and will displayed on home screen this feature is currently not supported by third-party home screens so basically if you want to log into two snapchats two different messages or two different Facebooks all you have to do is add a fingerprint to each one and you can twin app so basically you can have two accounts 
accounts on uh, one phone and you can just log into one just with the tap of a fingerprint. So I thought that was a very cool, very useful, especially for a lot of people who have multiple accounts, such as a social media account, a personal account, a business account. You know, I thought that was a really cool option. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like as well subscribing if you are not a part of the tech gang already. This has been Stefan from TechRite. Peace out, guys. Thank you.